falls and comebacks. As long as you're still breathing, you're alive. You have to keep going. There was another video the other day that I made. Uh, I'm sure some of you guys might have seen a video on social media. It's a lot of videos actually where they say, would you take a $10 million that I would give to you right now? Everybody, of course. But if I were to tell you on one condition though, you're not going to wake up tomorrow. No, 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 I'm not going to take the $10 million. Everybody says that. And they're like, why? Yeah, whatever, whatever. People give different reasons. But the main reason is because subconsciously, you do acknowledge that waking up tomorrow is far much better than the $10 million. It's far much better than a billion dollars. It's far much better than anything out there. It's just a gift of life. As long as you're still alive, you still have another chance. You can fall. I don't know how many times I've fallen. I've fallen. <laughs> I'm not even afraid to speak about it in public. I've fallen. I've lost it all. But I've always come back. Why? Because I believe in myself. Because I believe that I still stand another chance. Because I believe that I'm a child of God. Because I believe that the journey that I'm walking, I'm serving my purpose here on earth. And as long as I am alive, I'm not going to stop serving that purpose. No matter how difficult it gets on your road, there is no giving up, guys. This thing called life, there is no giving up. It gets tough sometimes. It's a time. You end up waiting for those call times as I said, so you can make your calls in the evenings. Because you not because you want to call at night, because next. That's why when you have it, you must always think of another day. But that's the thing, we fall into a trap of when we have it, we want to be seen that we've got it. One thing that I've learned, I come from there as well. I'm not exempting myself from all of this. I've made those mistakes of when I have it, I want to be seen. I want to drive a car that says I've got money. I want to look like I've got money. I have money, I must wear the expensive clothes. I must, excuse me, it happens. Where you just become a big spender, unnecessarily. Because pretty much nothing has changed. Yes, you know, your lifestyle might have changed. But you are now staying at a home that is costing you 50, 60, 70,000 a month. Don't think you're rich now because you're still going to have to be paying those bills at the end of every month. Your car, how much are they costing you every month? The clothes that you're how much do you spend every month? Now, that comes into effect, but in, the more the value of your life improves, other people who are smart, you know what do they do? They don't immediately improve their lifestyle. They might improve one or two or three things, because, yeah, maybe I might take my kid from a township school, now I can go a better school, which is maybe a private school. Um, I might maybe move a little bit from a kasi, maybe buy a home from a, a better to a, a, at a better environment. But it doesn't mean that now I must go buy the most expensive home, go buy the most expensive car, take my child to the most expensive school. No. Even if you can afford it, the smart thing to do when you are a young person right now, you'd rather afford that one apartment, but maybe don't be in a hurry to move out of home. Rather make that one bedroom apartment that you've just bought because you can afford it for 700,000. Just rather put a tenant in there. The tenant gives you 5,000 rands every month. The apartment is paying for itself. The bond is taken care of by your tenant while you're still staying at home. There is no need to go get the Golf 7. You can still drive the NP400 plus bar monaki van. Plus NP400 still, you can still do the work with it. I also have got an NP400 even. Even, you know, I'm not Spanish, I don't know. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. That's why you find a lot of people who are hard workers or who've got businesses, not only about body contract or shuttle services people, no. Most business people have got the um, barking four-ton baki. Why do they have the four-ton buckets? Because it's a car that you can use. It can make money for you. 
smart smart people even buy ubers and they put them on the road yes the uber business has now changed in south africa it's unlike how it was five years ago right now there's many cars on the road there's a lot of competition you're not making as much money as people were making um a few years ago but it's still a business you can put it instead you know because why so fundi leman you the high ngenga iphila impilo yokuba uput madlisa nangifikile imi imele bazwe ngami ngawa ka buhlungu because imali nje bukuyimi imi ama bill no guys don't worry i'll take the bill no guys don't worry this and that you know the definition of kokasir muthu stinch umuntu stinch i've seen that with some of the most successful business people in south africa and you're like this person has got so much money but they look at each and everything even when they take the bill after eating at the restaurant they even tick they even count and tick. And you're like, the bill is just 700 rands or the bill is just 1,200 rands. This person is like a multimillionaire. Mar. They, they look at, at every little line item. It's the same thing in their business. They are like that. They are so involved that they look at every little thing. You must be like that. We must train ourselves to be like that. Those are some of the things that I've had to change in my life and start to do better because ngazile ngengawa. So isn't on as as lunga gangan gangani, you'd rather look broke and know very well that you are fully loaded, you are sorted for the rest of your life, and you know you've created generational wealth, you know your kids are sorted. You'd rather have people rather think, ah, ah this one, agana mal. Why? Because you've learned. A person who wants to keep repeating the same thing over and over, expecting different results, they always say that's a pure definition of being a lunatic. You're a psycho. before. You have to go back and reassess and have a SWOT analysis and be like, okay, cool. What have I done wrong over the past couple of years with my life? And then correct all of those wrongs when you come back. Not come back only to still be the same person again, become a big spender again. No. You guys will be very disappointed also if Sbuda is still repeating the same mistakes that he did many years ago. No, Sbuda now knows how it is like to fall. He knows how it is like to not have it all, have it all and lose it all. He's not going to repeat the same mistakes. He's learned from his mistakes. And my message to you, my brothers and sisters out there is that, that this is life. You are not in control of it. When you're at the top, you must know there's going to be those rainy days that are coming. And when you're at the bottom, you must know you have to climb that mountain for you to get to the top. But when you do also get to the top, you get to see actually there's also other bigger mountains, more bigger mountains to climb. You will fall, but you will come back. As long as you can still wake up and breathe, go back to it. Go try again. Go start again. Go, go do it again. Because I believe in you. You have to believe in yourself. It's not the end of the world. Even if you might just think you're in your deathbed, you must still believe you're going to go back and you're going to become the best that you can be. And do me a favor, when you do get back into action, into your own being, into the person that you were even better, behave better this time. Don't be that old person that you were who messed it all up when Nkulunkulu had blessed you. So yes, you will rise. Some people will fall. But when you do fall, you may rise again. It's very possible to rise again. I've done it. I've risen again because I've fallen before. So I know what it's like to not have. And I know what it's like to have. And I've learned from my previous mistakes. And I guarantee you, I'm not repeating those mistakes. I'd rather look broke. <laughs>